Hello everybody, this is Trevor Selescu, the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So I get a lot of questions on my uh, slot car racing videos, but the main one that I get is how do the slot cars, the digital slot cars, change lanes? So let's go and check this out as I address this issue. Okay, here we are, trackside, and this is the official Monster Hobbies slot car. Oh, you can't see that. There we go, Monster Hobbies. I hand painted that right there. Okay, this is a Ford, but it's a Ford Capri. So, okay, so I want to show you what the cars are like. So, you see under here, let me prop this up, right there is essentially an electric eye. And on the track, if you look right there, that is also an electric eye. Now, the cars get coded, you see, by putting them on the track. You hit code, then you press this red action button on the controller. And you heard that buzz? That's your motor. So there goes the Monster Hobbies car down the track. Okay, I'm gonna move over here and show you something. Okay, the car is where I want it to be. We're coming right up to this switch here. Now, remember, there's an electric eye right there. And when it comes over, it lines up with that electric eye on the, on the track. Now, this is like a paddle here. Like on your HO train sets and end skill actually any of the train sets. Now, to activate this, when your car is, say, like right about there somewhere, you want to hold this button in. And with your throttle control, you see, I held the button in, the electric eyes touched, and it triggered this. So I'll do that one more time. I'll do it from the switch. So I'm holding the thing down, here comes the car, and see, it's switched. Now if you don't hold it down, it'll go straight ahead. So that is how people are switching lanes on my slot car tracks. So there's another switch over there somewhere. I'll hold the button in. Okay, the car missed it, but it got that one. And it'll work on all of them. Now the beauty of this is, sorry for moving the camera around, the action button does a lot of things. So for one, see the headlights are off? Now if your car's at a dead stop, you hit the action button, turn on your headlights. Okay, the action button is also used in your coding, so I can set the brakes, you know, moving up and down the thing, and then whatever I lock them in, well, actually this one, haha, <laughs> uses the enter button. However, your coding uses that front button because you're essentially coding that electric eye right to your controller. So, <laughs> kind of pointless showing you the, the other thing. But anyway, that is how this works with your switching lanes. And same with the tower. So, I'll just turn this up. It's probably sideways now. But every time that the car goes over, ooh, okay, goes over the button, see, put it into six. So there you are. That's how all this works. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, and we will uh, see you soon. Bye.